Hey guys, today we're going to be experimenting with Hour of Code. Hour of Code is basically a website where you can learn how to code through block code. Block code is, well, you'll see what block code is soon. It's basically just coding with online blocks. So I'm going to start with um, a Minecraft project. Sure, why not? Let's try doing Minecraft. Oh, there's a lot of Minecraft ones. Okay, so there's Minecraft, Aqu Voyage Aquatic, Hero's Journey, Adventurer, Designer, and Minecraft AI for Good. Okay, I don't think we have enough... Actually, sure, let's try Minecraft AI for Good. Why not? Um, you know, I don't want to download Minecraft. I'm going to do a different one. Um... Okay, let's try Minecraft Heroes Journey. Okay, let's watch the video. Stampy, Lizzie, Preston, thank you for coming with me. What I want to show you is just over this Mesa Plateau. I think you're going to love it. Wait a minute. There's a hole in the track! No! Oh my God! Is everyone okay? Ah, I see the problem. Look, there was a hole in the track. Really, Stampy? Maybe we should gather blocks to fix it. Let's make it a race. First one back to the top wins. Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Okay, I'm just gonna gather some of this terracotta. Wait, guys, I can't mine. Same. I can't either. Okay, that is really strange. Stampy, can you mine? I can't mine! Okay, everyone stay calm. Is the game broken? If it is, how do we fix it? No. Does anyone know how to write Minecraft code? <gasps> what is that? I've never seen one of these before. It's so adorable. Is it? Is it tameable? Okay, what is going on? Someone needs to go back to the real world and fix this. Not, Not it. Not it. Not it. Uh, okay, I'll go. Hey. Oh, okay. Hey, so I'm in the real world now. Uh, I'm gonna go try to find the Minecraft offices, but I'm gonna need your help. Start doing the tutorial, start learning how to code, and I'll catch up with you guys after a few levels, okay? Uh, wish me luck. Hello. This way. Ow, I'm okay. To complete the Hour of Code challenge, you'll need to write code to program the agent. You'll work together with the agent to clear any obstacles in your path so you can pick up the items you'll need for your journey. Only the agent can place and break blocks, and only you can collect items. Your screen is split into three main parts. On the left is Minecraft. The middle area is the toolbox with commands that the agent can understand. And on the right is the workspace. That's where you stack the commands to build your program to control the agent. The agent can walk, turn, and activate pressure plates. It can also destroy blocks and place blocks. When it places a block like these minecart rails, it places it underneath itself. If you forget what to do, the instructions for each level are at the top. If you want to try again, you can hit the blue reset button to reset everything to where it started. And if you need to delete a block of code, drag it from your workspace to the toolbox. Remember to hit run to get the agent moving. Okay, go ahead and try out the first few levels. Good luck! Okay, let's start. I'm gonna choose Steve, and let's see, okay. So the door is locked, but the agent is here to help. Snap a move forward block to the bottom of the when run block in the workspace to get the agent to the pressure plate, then press run and use the arrow keys to move out of the house and collect the chest. Oh, I see, so these blocks control this dude, and these arrows control this dude, Steve. So let's move forward to activate the tr pressure plate. So now I can leave. Okay, let's go. Okay, got the chest. Done. Level is done, I guess? Okay. And, just so you know, um, it do this one actually does show the real code, not just block code. But this, all I did was move forward, so... I just move forward. Okay, Steve is heading on an adventure, so... To help, get the map. 
up. Snap the code into the workspace to move the agent to the pl pressure plate so that Steve can get through. Okay, so let's move forward twice. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I can repeat it twice. Okay, so repeat, move forward twice. Run. Now I'm gonna go get the map. Okay. Oh no, I wanna get the diamond. Let me get the diamond. No, no! Dang it. It basically, oh. Okay, now there's a for loop. So it says, like the count is zero. Count is less than two. Count plus plus. So if count is less than two, run this. So move forward. Then count plus one. And count is one. So they do it again. Then count plus one again. But now it's two, so they don't run it. So it happens two times. Okay, let's watch this. I wonder what Stacy is up to. Whoa. I think I'm in the right place. This is amazing. I feel like I'm back in Minecraft. Hello. How are you? Hello. Ooh, it's a creeper. You don't do anything, do you? Stacy. Hi, Katie. Yes. Welcome to Minecraft. Thank you. Come on in. Okay. This is amazing. So you work here every day as a developer, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm a developer on the Minecraft Marketplace team. How many coding languages do you know? Uh, in my career, I've probably worked with over a dozen. Yeah. Dozen. Mm -hmm. So now you wouldn't happen to know anything about this little golem guy that calls himself the agent? We use the agent to do things that uh, Steve or Alex can't, like go across lava. Well, I want to learn how to code, and they want to learn how to code, so what is sort of one of the first things that you need to know when you're learning? Well, you need to learn how to use loops. Okay. Loops are things that developers write to give commands to a computer that can be run over and over again. Got it. So I think there's actually some of that coming up in the levels ahead, so go ahead and give loops a try. In the next level, you can use a loop to move the agent along the path. Drag the repeat block into the works. I guess we're a bit ahead because we just did that. <laughs> ...base and place the move forward block inside the repeat block. This tells the computer to do the same thing many times in a row without having to drag a whole bunch of blocks into the workspace. You can choose how many times to repeat by putting a number in the repeat block. You can put turns and multiple commands in the repeat block too. But for now, try using a repeat to move the agent forward a few steps. Remember, if you get stuck on a puzzle, you can always hit the blue reset button and try again. If you are thinking about having a cool job like Katie's, go ahead and click the show code button when you finish every level. That's going to actually show you the JavaScript code that someone like Katie uses when she's actually programming Minecraft. So anyway, thank you so much. Yeah, good luck everyone. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what I need to do is get the compass. But this time, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get the diamond, because I want the diamond. So, how many times do I need to go forward? So I'm going to move forward four, wait, one, two, three, four, okay, move forward. Then, after that, you would, you would have to um, turn to the left, then move forward, how many times? One, two, three, four, again. And let's run. Okay, let me go get the diamond. Okay, done. I got that. Next, I'm going to get the agent. Oh, it's open already. I guess it stays open once you click on the pressure plate. Done. Now we also got the diamond. And the code is like move forward four times, then and then move and then turn left, then move forward four times. Okay. Oh. 
he can move across water? Okay, that's a bit weird. Okay, so one, two, three. So three times, well, hold on. First turn right, then move forward three times. Then turn left. Um, no, that that's not right, hold on. Oh, okay, okay, I see what I need to do. I was thinking about it wrong. I need to go click those two pressure plates. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Move forward seven times. Then turn left twice. So now I'm going backwards. Just so that I can get the diamond too. Okay, then... Okay, I don't think it's possible. Never mind. Okay. Okay, so not, now not repeat seven times, but repeat one, two, three times. Move forward. So now I'm facing that way, so you'd have to turn. So now you have to turn right, and then move forward twice. Okay, this is starting to get a bit more complicated. <laughs> And then turn right again. So now you're facing that way, and then move forward twice again. I think I have an idea. If I do that, yes, but then I do that and put this in there. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. Because then it repeats the repeat two times. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so it does... Okay, so... Just so I know I'm moving with the arrow keys. I just figured out you can do that. Okay, so I just got the done. And I got the cup. I got it. Good. Level 5. I have to get the axe. So, if I get that one... Which one do I get? Because if I get that... Uh -huh, I see which one I have to get now. Okay. So I have to go forward 2... No, forward 1, so I'm just going to put that there. Okay, then turn right... to So that it turns right over here. Then move forward one, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna turn that to say four. And okay, next. Okay, I'm just gonna go from there. Okay, next, you would turn left. And then you said in one. Okay. Good, now it's facing the right way. Next, we would have to go forward by three. And run. Okay, let's go. Okay, now that we've gotten that, the diamond, and we got the axe, let's go. Here's the code, so move forward, then turn right, then move forward four times, then turn left, then move move forward three times, then, uh, yeah, that's it, and that's basically, that's, that was that level. Okay, I'm not sure you want to see me do all of these levels, so I'm going to do this level, level seven, and then skip to level ten. But you can still see all the videos, that you can still do. Okay, so, oh, okay, place, I think I have to move forward, then place, then repeat a lot of times, I don't know how many times yet, but, okay, so, move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward, place, good, 
So that's three times. Let me just try this. Good. Next, I need to turn right, just so I can get the diamond. And then I'm gonna turn right, and then I need to do this again. Move forward, and place. Now let's hope this works. Okay, let's go get everything. Oh god, there's a creeper there. Why is there a creeper there? I just need to see if you go near the creeper, will it explode? I guess not. Okay, that sucks. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, that would've worked. Because I thought maybe if I placed a wood plank by that bush over here, maybe I'd be able to climb in, but no, that would've worked. Okay, let's get the shovel and continue. This is the last level I'm gonna do before the final level. Here's the code. You move forward three. T you move forward and place the block three times. Then you turn right. Then you move forward and place the block two times. Okay, this is level seven. Why is there a sheep? I need to experiment. I need to see that, like right now. Like right now. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, so I need to repeat it five times, first of all. But then I need to turn around. So, turn right twice. Then I'll see from there so I can count how many I need to do. Okay, next I need to go back one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Three, I need to go move forward by three. So repeat three times and move forward by three. Then turn to the left. Then move forward. Place wood plank. And I should be done. Reset and run. Move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward, place. That's five times. Then turns around. Then move forward. Uh, nope, it's two times, I guess. Two times, not three. Okay. People make mistakes. We're people. Okay. 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 Now I'm gonna go. What am I supposed to do with this sheep? I can't really do anything. Okay, whatever. Let's go get the pickaxe. Okay. Continue. Oh, okay. Boom. Now we have another video. So let's watch that. I'm not trying to brag, but uh, I'm pretty good at parkour. Let's sleep so it's day when Stacy comes back. Oh, okay, guys. I am back from the Minecraft offices, and I think I know how to solve the problem I'm having in my game. I think I can use a function. Let me just open this. So, okay, a function is a specific set of instructions to accomplish a certain task, kind of like a recipe. In the next few levels, you'll have access to functions that you can use to solve the puzzles. Look at the code in the function when it's in the workspace to see what it does. Then, find the block with that name in the toolbox and drag it from the toolbox to the win run block. Remember, you can use the same function every time you need to run the same set of instructions to do something, like build a bridge. Good luck! I know you can do it. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna do a few more, because all I have to do is do that. And then, so, build a bridge, which is move forward, place, move forward, place, move forward, move forward, turn right. Wait, what? Okay. So then I'm going to do build bridge again, then build bridge again, and let, I, I'm just randomly placing down the locks by now. Okay, so now I have access to everything. That was not too hard, I just had to place down a green block three times. Honestly, like, come on. How do I- 
How do I get these zombies? I want to make them mad so that they can attack me. I don't know what. Okay, whatever. Let's get the torch. Easy. Okay, so the lines of code were... Yeah, function build bridge is basically just the function. Like, you declare a function that whenever you say it, the agent will move forward, place a block. Move forward, place a block, move forward, move forward, and turn right. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so should I just clear path? That's it? Oh, okay, I see the thing. So I have to move forward. I have to move forward three times to get to the next thing. Oh. No, it's two times. Two times. Okay, reset, run. So then I go over there. Now I'm going to clear the path again. Reset, run. Next, I'm going to move forward and then do it again. Move forward, do it again. Then I should end up over here. So then I'm just going to turn right. Because again, I want to get the diamonds. And do it again. Then I'm going to move forward too and do it again. So I'm just going to go there. Okay. And do it again. Then I'm going to turn right. Actually, that's it. That's all I really need to do. I don't even need to turn right. Okay, so I get rid of that ice. I think I've just realized... Actually, nah, I don't even want to get to the cow. Okay, perfect. Now I can walk. I got the diamond, and I got the cart. Only three more levels after this. Okay. And the code is just... Function clear path is basically just destroy the block in front of you, move forward, then place gravel. And then I said clear path, and then I did move forward twice, then clear path, move forward, clear path, turn right, clear path, and then um, move forward twice, then clear path again. Done. Okay. Spot the difference between these two. Okay, so the difference is repeat three times and repeat two times. I get that. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Oh, okay. Okay, so. So I need to get the flint and steel, and I need to... Okay. I need to get the flint and steel, and for me, I need to get the diamonds. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn right. Then move. Yeah, I'm going to do the way so that I can get both of them. So turn right, then move forward three times. Okay, so we move forward three times. Then I fix short path. Because that destroys these two blocks. Okay, then I would turn left. Then fix long path. Okay, after I fix the long path, then I turn left and move forward too. So I would just do this and move forward. Okay, then I turn right and I fix short path. I'm done. Hopefully this works. Okay, so he destroys that, destroys that, and fixes. Then destroys that and fixes. Destroys that, fixes, destroys, fixes. You get the point. Then he goes up and that and up and that. Boom. Now I'm now I'm gonna go. I can go into another portal. 
Oh, dang it, I thought I really could. Okay, I don't know what that does and why it's there, but whatever. I'll take the flint and steel and keep going. And the code, I basically did fix long path. It destroys a block. Three, it destroy, it does this three times. Destroy a block. Move, for, destroy the block in front of me. Move forward. Place a block of rails so that minecarts can go on it. And fix short path is the same thing, but instead it happens two times. Then turn right, and then I make it so that move forward three times. Then I fix the short path, turn left. Fix long path, turn left. And then move forward twice because, again, it goes up to two. Then turn right and fix, fix short path. Okay, this is the second last one. Oh, I'm in the nether now. Avoid the gas and make it to the enchanted book. There is a diamond in this one. Okay. So I'm going to build a short bridge. Hold on. Yeah, build a short bridge. What was that? Oh, that's the gas. Okay. Build short bridge. Then move forward. Build the long bridge. But, then again, I want to get the diamond again. So I turn right. Move forward three I guess I can't do that uh, okay so I'm going to send them over here now I'm gonna build a short bridge and that should be good for me to get everything okay oh um what is happening? No, that's not right. Um, okay, so it seems I have to destroy the block in front of me. So let me do that very quickly. Okay. What is happening? Uh, I guess that's good. I guess I can do this. Does this work? No, 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 come on, no, 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 Re replay, replay, I need to get the diamond, I'm gonna, okay, fine, reset, okay, well, that sucks, um, I guess that works, instead of, I'm gonna build a short bridge, instead of a long bridge, okay, This is what I have. So we'll build the short bridge and I build the short bridge, okay? Then it should turn right. No, yeah, no. Yeah, turn right. Then build the long bridge. Then turn left. Then turn left. Move forward and place another one. And it should be good. And run. That does not work. Okay, it seems that it still needs to be a long bridge, so I'm just gonna replace that path. And try to run it again. I guess that, uh, not entirely sure what I just did. Okay. Instead of build a long bridge, I need to change it to build a short bridge, then move forward and place another one. Let me try this again. I have no idea what, whether this will work. Okay, th that's closer to what I wanted before. Okay, that's fine. It's fine as long as it does that. I don't really care. Turn left, place another. Perfect. 
that works. Even though there are a few errors, it still works, so that's fine. Yes, now I have the diamond. Perfect! Yay! Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, build, build short bridge, build the bridge with two, with two blocks, and build the long bridge, builds one with five blocks. Then I call build short bridge. So build the short bridge. It destroys a it destroys a block in front of me, and I move forward. Then it builds another short bridge. I move forward, and I place a netherrack block. Then I turn right. I build a long bridge. I turn left. I move forward, and I place another block. Okay. So now I'm going to do the final level. Oh, it's a congratulations now. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, you did it! Congratulations, guys, you totally rocked that. And now that you've completed the hour of code, you can start coding in Minecraft. You've learned about loops, functions, and what a software agent does. Now it's time for the free play level, where you are the developer. Use any remaining time to write your own functions to explore, mine, and build. You can take the code that you write in this level into your Minecraft world on Minecraft Education Edition. Just click finish and follow the instructions for getting the link to use in your world to continue coding with the agent. Have fun and good job. And I'm back. Okay, you guys, this is the agent. Let me show you what it can do. Look, look, it's doing it. I told it to build a staircase out of these terracotta blocks. Now we can just use this to get out of here. And you guys, it's not just staircases. I can tell the agent to do anything I want and it'll do it for me. How did you do that? It was easy actually. I just used code. Okay. So that was my congratulations letter. Oh my god, this video is running long. Oh god, um... Okay. So... I think what I'm gonna do is... Move forward. Um, okay. Okay, so, reset. Okay. What I need to do is bring the agent over here. Okay, one, because I want to build a railroad track that just basically is just a railroad track. I know it's boring, but I don't really want to do a lot right now. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to repeat. How many times do I need to? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Repeat nine times, and all I need to do is move forward. Run. I'm gonna go to where it is to explore what's over here. Okay, so what I'm gonna need to do is, so function one is going to build the vertical one, which will be move forward, but it's gonna have this in here. It's gonna say three times. I'm gonna have to move that. Okay. Move forward and move forward. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, move forward. Place rails. Okay. And I'm just gonna call function one. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Next, I need to turn left. Then in function two, I'm gonna repeat it seven times. Move forward. Place rails. Okay. Let's follow the agent. Okay. Okay. Is it gonna go or. Oh, I forgot to put function two. After function two, then I have to turn left again and do function one turn left again and do function two and reset and run let's follow the agent okay
But how do I ride this? Can I place a minecart? Hmm. Sand, sandstone, okay. Okay, so... You know what? I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out how to do that. How to ride it, okay? Here you go. I'm also going to share this one with you guys. So, um, okay. I'm just putting it in. Okay. So, that is code.org. I mean, that is Hour of Code. Sorry. So, in short, Hour of Code is a website that teaches you how to code within an hour. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Just want to throw it out there. I did figure out how to use the mine cart. You just have to go onto the track and then, like, go in either direction, and the mine cart will automatically pop up. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.